Do you see this right now? Do you see this? That tower is the same cell tower that I filmed earlier in September that had that very faulty LED that did not work for more than a year or maybe almost two years maybe. Well, guess what? Just yesterday, it started working again. I noticed it on I noticed it last night when it was on night mode and stuff. I couldn't believe it. I was like, "Wow, they actually fixed it." And then just today, um, I was I wanted to film it on day mode, but I was busy eating dinner and it got dark around the beginning of seven. Um, so I couldn't film it on day mode, but I can tell you, day mode works, night mode works, and all that stuff. So yeah, it, it works, it finally works. Yeah, um, let, let me tell you, this, this beacon has not worked in a long time. I have memories of walking home from school in 2023 and just seeing it in the distance with, with a beacon that's not working and stuff. I remember that. That was more, that was like, like almost two years ago, I think. Uh, it was like, it was, I graduated in May 2023. Um, I don't remember when it first got this LED, but it replaced another faulty LED. Yeah, let, let me tell you this. This cell tower used to have an FH324. Oh, I have no idea what happened to the phone there. This tower um, used to have an FH324 for the longest time. But then in like, I don't know, 2018 or 19, it got replaced by its first LED, which I believe was a FTS370 with the 30 flash per minute night mode and stationary side markers. Well, after after um, after a few years, the beacon on that tower, I mean, that LED, it stopped working on day mode and it only went to night mode. So, I mean, it wasn't as bad as it would get later on, but um, day without it without a day mode, that's that's kind of a that's kind of a risk because it's not a striped tower. It's a gray tower. And then eventually that faulty LED was replaced by the LED you see here. And it only worked for about a month or so and then it stopped working. Day mode and night mode. It just stopped working for almost two years. Yeah, this tower owner is, I guess he's pretty bad, I guess. I don't know. It's not taking care of the beacon. Yeah, so I don't know if the FH324 just stopped working or not, but if it was perfectly working, then replacing it was probably the biggest mistake they could have made, because its LEDs are very faulty. So yeah, this is the first time in almost two years, I think, that this tower's beacon has worked. And it, this is the same beacon that it had back in, back in like early 2023, or maybe even late 2022, I forgot, when it first got this LED. So, yeah, it's working now, and I hope it stays that way. But I swear, this tower is cursed. I swear, um, all the LEDs this tower's had have been very faulty, so I, I would imagine um, the beacon would just stop working in like a month or two, and then they'll replace it after five months, and then that LED will stop working too, because, you know, it's just cursed. It's just cursed. Huh. But yeah, I just wanted to show off that, because it's... Cause, um, that what that was a big safety hazard there did not work for almost two years like we have an airport down here a small airport but still it's an airport and then we also have a hospital and with hel with a helicopter that usually flies out around the city every day and night so yeah that was a safety hazard that should have been taken care of a long time ago so i just want to say um I really hope that the the obstruction light industry is not just dishing out all of these cheap beacons. I'm just mentioning this because um, these past few months I've been noticing lots of faulty LEDs. Like our tallest tower down here got two tiers of FTS 370s that stopped working one week into installment, and they've been like it's been like that for like almost a month until they are finally fixed. Um, so I'm just I'm really hoping that. Um, the beacon, I, I mean, obstruction light industry is not dishing these cheap products out to make money like all the other industries, like appliances and stuff. Because that would be really, really scummy. Really, really scummy because this here is, um, this here, it would be a safety hazard to stop working. Um, I mean, it's, it's like a 300 foot cell tower. 
So it's a good thing that um, usually planes and helicopters are higher into the sky than 300 feet, but still it's a it's a safety hazard, especially at night. So I just want to say that it's yeah, it's just really it would be really really scummy to do that. Like you, it's like it's like you're um you're playing with people's lives basically. Like what happens if um I mean a, a plane I wouldn't imagine it running into this tower, but a helicopter that could be another story. What there's always that chance, you know. So if the beacon stops working and there's a helicopter flying around at night nearby, then there's a there's um it's risky, you know. It'll be really scummy if they're just made to break so they can make money and stuff.